Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology. And in today's video, we are going to be doing our weekly predictions for our Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of September 26th through October 2nd. So let's go ahead and get right into you guys' reading. What's going on with our Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of September 26th and October 2nd. What can we expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them? All right, before we get right into you guys' reading, quick disclaimer. For a lot of you guys, this energy may be happening in chronological order. And for other of you guys, this energy may be happening sporadically throughout the week. So just take what resonates with you guys. All right, let's go. What's going on with our Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Horizon signs? You guys have the Three of Swords in reverse. The King of Swords is in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. You have the Strength card, Leo energy here. Seven of Cups energy. Can I get two more cards? You guys have the Two of Swords in reverse. <laughs> that flipped out and came back out. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. Back of deck energy is the moon. Your overall energy for the week with the moon card is you guys are in your feelings about something. With this moon card, a lot of you guys are going to be thinking about your dreams and thinking about your instincts as well. It may be a bit uh, exaggerated for some things or over the top, <laughs> a bit dramatic. But I do see you guys' emotions and feelings drastically changing at some point during this week. That's your overall energy. Now you guys, with the Three of Swords, being in reverse this energy is about mid jaded pain you know what I'm saying it's like the pain is long long overdue there's something that may have hurt you in your past that may come up or may remind you of something later on during this week it's the energy that I'm getting here with the Three of Swords being in reverse. There may have been some things that you wanted to speak on in the past that you weren't able to speak on. 
and now that you're like older or wiser you know it still hurts you and at some point during this week spirit is saying to speak on that you don't have to speak on that amongst like other people or telling other people your business just acknowledge that at some point this that and the third may have hurt you or made you feel less than and now you're here so we have the king of swords being in reverse and a lot of you guys may be feeling distance with this energy not wanting to be involved with other people wishing that you had some you know time to yourself also i'm seeing some resentment here just a little bit it's not queen of swords in reverse but just a little bit of resentment is here about your past it may have to deal with your career like we were talking about with the moon card your dreams you know this could be your dreams your aspirations things that you wanted to be when you grew up and you feel like you may be lagging behind you have the seven of swords in reverse the Seven of Swords in reverse is about sneaky things going on behind the scenes. A lot of you guys may be feeling heartbroken about some things that may be going on in the background or that may have went on in the background in your past. A lot of you guys may be overthinking the process as well. A lot of you guys may be thinking of Had to sit in silence for a second. A lot of you guys may be feeling like your partner or your friends or your associates may be, you know, sneaking around or saying things behind your back or bringing you down. And spirit is showing you this is the strength card, okay? Show love, show compassion. That's what this strength card is about. And also with the strength card, Spirit is wanting you to be strong through this process because the Seven of Cups energy is here. Everything that you see or feel, because this is Cups energy, this is about emotions, this is water sign energy. Everything that you see and feel may not be what it seems. The person that's looking at these cups, all they see is golden cups. They can't really see what's on the inside of it. Here's the tower moment here. Here's jewelry. Here's a snake, the pillar of salt. This is the energy of everything that glitters isn't gold. And also in the same breath, everything that's is put out to the world to be bad is it really bad you have some two of swords energy some indecision some indecision on friendships some indecision on the words that you are wanting to speak the things that you are wanting to say some indecision on relationships some indecision on your career your dreams You guys have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is about prosperity lying ahead in your life, just as well as the Nine of Pentacles. So you guys, success is on the way for you. At some point during this week, you have to let something go. At some point during this week, you have to follow your intuition, your true instinct. Let's get into your numerology cards. Following your true instinct and not thinking too hard about things. Let's get into the numerology card so we can see what you guys should mainly be focusing on during this week. What should my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign mainly be focusing on during this week? So the 
first card to actually come out was nature. Getting out in nature at some point during this week is likely. Going outside, taking a jog outside, exercising outside, getting some sun. You guys have love partnerships. You guys have karmic completion. And karmic completion is about any debts that you may have that you need to pay. And then you have number one, new beginnings. For a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are going to be having new beginnings with your relationships. New starts. A lot of you guys' relationships may be upgrading. You guys are looking at your debts as well. Main focus this week is, you know, getting out in nature, in nature and not being so hard on yourself, not being so impulsive, focusing on your love partnerships and, you know, any debts that you guys may have. A lot of you guys may be thinking about, might be thinking about some type of marriage as well. New beginnings in that sense. And that's why a lot of you guys are going to have to be thinking about the karmic completion. Now, I know somebody's going to be like, oh my goodness, there's three of swords here in reverse. The three of swords doesn't always have to be what your current situation is in your relationship. For a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys may be leaving something and going to something that you've always wanted. Now, the energy surrounding you is cancer energy. You and your loved ones are safe. That's what I'm seeing here. And then you guys have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Let's get one more card for your guys. You guys, it's energy. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. I feel like for a lot of you guys, Aquarius, you guys really need to tap and dive in deeper into your spirituality. Whatever that is or whatever that means to you. It's time to tap deeper into it. Let's go into these astrology cards. So you can see... What energies are surrounding you guys? The first card to come out is Sagittarius energy. This energy imbues power, superior confidence, and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. You guys have the 11th house, which is Aquarius energy. This is where the cosmos grant wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. And lastly, you guys have Neptune, which is Pisces energy. Your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. All right? So let's get into the Starseed Oracle card so we can see the messages you guys have from Spirit. Pay attention to your Cancer friends, your Pisces friends, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Pisces once again, <laughs> friends. All right? So the first message that you guys have from Spirit is Empathic Starseed energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours a lot of you guys are absorbing other people's energy that doesn't belong to you and that can be very exhausting absorbing other people's energy not knowing what they're thinking not knowing what they're feeling can cause you some type of anxiety you guys have deep cellular healing octopus energy physical and emotional healing so a lot of you guys need to heal physically and emotionally during this week and you guys have earth school life lessons soul growth study how you're learning learning more leveling up more a lot of you guys may be thinking about going back to school to further your education and the time is now the time is now to take action. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please give it a thumbs up, leave comments down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload, and I'll see you guys in my next one.